I had some trouble finding this book because of autocorrect. Book websites kept calling it Reflections of Ursula. That kind of spoils the surprise that Ursulu is really Ursula in disguise. Argofon book review, Argofon book review. Ursula complains she used to rule the oceans before King Triton stole her throne. She uses her crystal ball to spy on Triton, who's having a nice family dinner with his six daughters. Ursula realizes, aha! King Triton's weakness is his family! The next day, Adela meets a stranger named Arsulu. She's very nice and quickly makes friends with the princesses. Adela invites Arsulu to live with them for a while. Ariel isn't so sure that's a good idea, but her objections are overruled. You might think King Triton would instantly recognize Ursula and see through her scheme. Luckily for her, he's way too busy to spend time with his daughters this week. He doesn't show up until the end of the book. Most of the book is Arsulu starting fights among the princesses. Andrina's blamed for turning Adela's hair green. Aquata steals Adela's crush. Aquata and Alana fight over chores. Arista and Alana buy identical gifts. There's gossip that Atina thinks Andrina is dumb. After about five pages of this, I totally lost track of which sister is which. I'm sorry, but they all have similar names, and they're all doing the exact same thing, fighting. I couldn't tell any of them apart. Someone destroys Ariel's sculpture. A nearby snail says Arsulu did it. Ariel secretly follows Arsulu. Just like the movie, Ursula gives herself away by looking at her true face in a mirror reflection and gloating her evil plan is almost finished. Ursula definitely needs to learn to stop with her evil gloating. It keeps ruining her plans. Ariel tries warning her sisters, but they don't believe her. Ariel tries warning her father, but King Triton's so angry about the princess's constant fighting, he refuses to listen to anyone. Ariel thinks it would be too difficult to expose Ursula by holding a mirror to her face. I disagree, that seems like it would be a very easy way to expose Ursula. Instead of a mirror, Ariel uses shiny goldfish. They swim around Arsulu's head so quickly that her reflection appears on their bodies. The goldfish create a cyclone that conveniently takes Ursula far away so the mermaids don't have to deal with her directly. The sisters all apologize for fighting, and King Triton decides to have a banquet in Ariel's honor. The end. Postbook follow-up. There is a scene where Ariel confronts Ursula directly, and Ursula stops pretending she's Arsulu. I like that scene, but I think it contradicts the movie. In the movie, Ariel and Ursula are clearly meeting each other for the first time. That can't be true if they had an angry confrontation here in this book. I don't care about this continuity error, because it's great to see Ursula in this series. She works well as the villain of the book. My only complaint is that I don't quite understand her plan to take over the kingdom. I understand that she wants all the princesses to fight in order to upset and distract King Triton, but how does she get from fighting princesses to being the new ruler of Atlantica? I think her plan is missing a step somewhere. Overall, I thought it was a good book. Over half the book is nothing but Ursulu tricking the sisters into fighting, and that can be repetitive, but having Ursula as the villain keeps the book interesting. The story would work well as an episode of the TV show. I give The Little Mermaid number 3, Reflections of Ursulu, a thumbs up.